story time hello guys welcome to our class today we're going to read a non-fiction story that is called fast forward and you know that we're going to use our global stage literacy book and you can find the story on page 146 as we always do after the story we're going to make some activities about it and also during the story you will be alert to find the words in context okay pollute self-driving radar crisscross magnets structures Remember that you have to underline them and after the story you will have to search for the meaning of each word and you can write the meaning right away in the book. You don't need to use your notebook but you have to answer to add the day story in your book, okay? Well, let's listen to the story and then we will do the activity. Have you ever wondered about transportation in the future? What will cars, trains, and planes look like? And how fast will they travel? Let's see what's new in transportation today and what we can expect by the end of this century. Cars. In many big cities, people are now driving electric cars. They look like normal cars, but they don't use gas or diesel. They have an electric motor and a large battery. To recharge the battery, the owner just plugs in the car. Electric cars are quiet, and they pollute less. Soon, we won't drive cars. There will be cars, but they won't need drivers. Self-driving cars will have computers with maps and radar to avoid accidents. Scientists are also developing flying cars. People will park them high up in the air outside their apartments or office buildings. Trains. These days, high-speed trains crisscross Asia and Europe and can reach an average speed of 250 to 300 kilometers per hour. A high-speed train is so powerful because there's a motor in each car. Many trains in the future will be maglev trains. In some places, people are already using them. These trains don't touch the track. They float on air because the magnets on the rail and the train push away from each other. Scientists predict they'll soon reach speeds of over 500 kilometers per hour and link cities that are thousands of kilometers apart. Another idea is the Hyperloop. Imagine a modern subway with structures like big pipes. Inside them, there will be capsules for passengers that will travel faster than planes travel today. Planes One of the biggest planes in the world is the Airbus A380. It's a double-decker, and it's as long as eight buses. These planes fly over oceans and continents at a cruise speed of 900 kilometers per hour. More than 500 passengers and thousands of suitcases can travel on an A380. Designers have already developed planes that use energy from the sun. In 2016, 
pilots Bertrand Picard and André Borschberg flew a solar-powered plane around the world. It took them 505 days and zero gas. So planes will probably use solar energy in the future. Engineers also think space travel will be possible by 2050. Virgin Galactic is already working on planes that will take tourists in a spaceship to space. Individual Transportation As well as electric bikes, scooters, and skateboards, inventors are developing other more efficient ways of traveling as an individual. Have you ever seen anyone on a Segway? That's one type of individual transportation that people use in some urban areas today. In the future, we may go to school or work on floating skateboards or in flying suits. Traveling is definitely faster and safer thanks to technology, and there are a lot of great ideas for the future. Did you like the story? Well, I think it was very interesting because I like everything about the future. Okay? So, for the activity A on page 100 and 50, we will have to think and discuss, read and check. Which inferences can you make after reading fast forward? Inferences are like predictions okay so you need to use your crystal ball and tell me how do you imagine the future will be according to the story fast forward so we have six sentences right there and you have to pick all the the sentences that you think may may happen all right Do you remember all the vehicles shown in the story? Well, guys, we have two pictures right here on page 150, exercise B. The only thing that you have to do is to write the name of each of those four vehicles, okay? You will have to do the activity C in your social studies notebook. You will have to make a discussion there in a written form because you're going to compare and contrast all the methods of transportation shown on the story. Okay, so here we have two speech bubbles that you can use like a reference to write your own opinion, but it must contain your own opinion, all right? The first one says, I'd like a floating skateboard. It would be, well, I would like a floating skateboard because, for example, in my case, I would like to have one floating skateboard because that would be like having the technology from back to the future. Also, uh, it would be really nice because I will feel like I'm flying. All right? Something like that you will have to write but you will have to describe and give me your opinion for each method of transportation, all right? So do it, don't forget, in your social studies notebook. Do you remember? 
remember how do we pronunciate the G words with G? Sometimes that they sound like J, 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 and sometimes they sound like G, G. Okay? Let's listen for some words. You will have to write the words that you hear here in the lesson and write then check your answers. Those are spelling patterns for words with G. Pay attention and write your answers. Danger, danger, angelfish, angelfish, giraffe, giraffe, stage. Stage Emergency And well guys, that was our class of today. Don't you forget to send me your evidences. You have to send me the words in context with their respective meaning. Also, you will have to send me the page, a picture of the page 150 that is already complete and also of your social studies notebook with the activity C. Don't forget the frame, the date, and the time. See you tomorrow.